everybody I'm back with another video and I'm turning this towards winter wear I would like to do a couple videos on this this first one is going to be how to change a zipper out of a winter coat I survived last winter on the East Coast with many weekends of snow with a jacket that was too big and a zipper that didn't work and that was um, painfully unpleasant so I want to show you just how easy this can be now due to circumstances on the farm that I could not control much of my video is a silent film unfortunately but um, these areas were um, these just strictly sewing there's not a lot of talking in there but I do want to explain one part of the video when you're sewing the zipper on the front of a jacket one Piece, you have to flip the flap of fabric back I'll show you the other side you don't um, so it looks like I'm going through the zipper twice but it looks kind of different that's because one side you sew regular the other side you have to kind of have to move some fabric out of the way but that's it but super easy let's get to it okay you guys in this video I am going to show you how to change out the zipper of your jacket now I my son is a reseller on eBay and he'll pick up things and sometimes he'll buy me stuff because I came from Southern California now I'm on the East Coast and last year it snowed a lot so he gave me a coat and it was too big and then we realized the zipper was broken so he had had some of these like spare uh, I don't know what they're called I'm not gonna pretend one of these things down here and he had a pack of them so I tried them and they didn't work so I'm just going to replace the zipper and I want to show you guys how easy it is. But first I want to tell you guys that in my last video on how to shorten the sleeve of a dress shirt, it was the remake. Um, I was, I put a link in there for these from the website Wawak and, um, I meant to tell you, I, I don't know if I put it in the description box, but they're on clearance. These are normally 55 cents a piece but we'll walk put their name on it and now it's 49 cents a piece okay so this is a pretty simple um alteration on a skirt it's actually harder to do it but on a jacket it's pretty easy and of course i like to take all the steps that i know how to make it even easier and it usually involves pinning a lot so What I normally do on a coat is I just open it up, take it out, slip the other one in, and zip it up, or and, and stitch it up. Sorry, don't zip it up. Don't zip it up till the end. Um, but when I was looking at this, this is a second piece fit into the jacket, and I was wondering if that was going to be an issue. But then I realized that the snaps were put in last, which means they're probably hanging onto the zipper and to this piece. I don't know what that piece is called. I feel like somewhere during the video it'll come to me, but I don't know. So um, I probably don't need to do this part, but I'm going to do it anyway. My lighting looks really bad. My jacket looks good. My hands are like ghost hands, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about my ghost hands. Okay, so normally what I would do, and I'm, I'm going to do it now, just in case these snaps don't encase all those things. See, because you can see it's covering the stitching line. So what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is take out that stitching and then where the zipper is caught up in the snaps, or these snaps, I'll have to cut it out. And which also means that when I put the new zipper in, I will have to either move it out here like this so it's not going to be aligned perfectly, which is not a big deal. It just adds a little bit more room um, or I can trim it and I don't want to trim it. So I'm thinking I'll just move it over. It's not a big deal I don't think now when I was um, 
purchasing the, the zipper, I think this zipper was like 30 and a half or 31 and a half. And I knew I had extra room here. So I went bigger because I could always shorten if I needed to, but I couldn't make it longer if, you know, if I wanted it longer. So if I put this up here, comes down and it comes down just a, a little bit longer. So it will be perfect. Now what this, I'm pinning it, even though I'm sure it won't come off, but what I'm, what I'm doing is making sure that this front and this back don't slip because I don't want to have to take the stitching out and then redo it. I rather just go, okay, it needs to slide in because I'm only taking out one line of stitching because I know the second one runs into these snaps. The jacket body it fits fine, but the sleeves are always too long. So I'm considering if I can shorten these sleeves, I might do a couple uh, videos on winter wear so that you don't have to be like me and walk around feeling like a toddler in their parents' jacket. I know this is iffy <laughs> if I cut my jacket, but oh well, let's hope, it, let's hope I don't cut it. So far so good. For a second there, it sounded like fabric cutting. Ow, haberdashery. Okay, a couple tight stitches here. put that needle point inside a razor blade would come in real handy right now
what I'm going to do, the zipper, if the jacket goes like this, you want this to be like right here. So you want this up. So you flip it over and you fold this down. I'm folding it down to the top of the zipper, the zipper stop. And I'm going to do it as close as I can without getting in the way of the zipper, but where I can encase all of this inside here. So it's going to go something like this. If you can see that. Try not to poke myself. I will have to turn the jacket around again. And then once I get the pin in, I'll check it and make sure that it is in the same place on both sides, like on the stitching line. Okay, now that I have the zippers pinned in, um, I'm going to get the sewing machine and finish up by sewing it all in.
You've made it to the end of the video. If you liked that video, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload more sewing and alteration videos. Thank you. Bye.